Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and welcome to another episode of Space Space Startopia. This time I'm going to do the second mission which has a bio deck and medicine. But first, let me change the voice of our robot. We'll change it to... Start greeting. Welcome back, Commander. Wall 900. So that you can, you know, just... Hear different voices, you know, because the lady's super mean, so now the guy's gonna be super mean. <laughs> Let's do viral vegetation really finish the garbage empire. Let us begin. Command R, I want to congratulate you on successfully completing the first test scenario. Only the most petty minded subprocessor would notice that there was no fail option in the previous mission. Let us now turn to the second test scenario. This simulated Startopia station is located in orbit around Jupilberry 3. The Galactic Database contains the following information on Jupilberry 3, a fertile jungle planet whose inhabitants are often involved in wars because the other side of the planet always seems to be a bit greener. Commander, the aim of this test scenario is to adequately design the bio deck on the Startopia so as to be able to harvest resources and have some of them processed in factories. In addition, Various diseases are common in this region, so you should have a viable medical station. Now then, Commander, go ahead and show what you're made of. By the way, according to my scanner that's 60% hydrogen, 25% oxygen, 10% carbon and a few other odds and ends. Shit welcome protocol, welcome to the second test scenario, Command R. As mentioned at the beginning, you now have access to the bio deck to grow plants and create a cozy atmosphere for your visitors. In this scenario you can expect more sick aliens on board, where a lack of treatment can result in a premature death. Command R, commence operations. Commander, you did acceptable work with the bombs in the last test scenario. RFS feels that such trivialities must be rewarded with more than just a virtual damp handshake, so a recycling station crate is hereby placed at your disposal. Commander, you have successfully installed a cargo hold. Your trusty fuzzies can now store materials there. I congratulate you on accomplishing this mundane task. Hats off! Commander, not that I doubt your mental abilities, but as a precaution I would like to point out to you the extremely banal logic that employing more dryads would ensure that you get the resources you need more quickly, as they sow new plants and harvest mature ones. Alright, so I've started already building. First thing I build is the fuzzy charging station that we've got over here. Then here, near the thing where our visitors come in, I have built the bird, which is essentially the things they've, they've got the food, the sleeping pot, and the hygiene machine. And then here I build a cargo hold where we can keep materials. Now we're gonna jump to the bio deck. So we're gonna do it by going up to- Glad you could make it to the bio deck, Commander. Plants are grown here that are transformed into resources upon harvesting. Finally, something Commander, with the hiring of a dryad, your bio deck is now being tended and producing raw material. Commander, your station is so covered in garbage that vermin capable of causing illness are already spreading. Cynical administrators would now begin to think twice. I am very curious as to your decision. Alright, so we hired a couple of dryads, and we can hide, hide, oh, actually we can hire a few more, so we're gonna have Command. four now. Those hired dryads will hopefully reduce the duration of this scenario to an acceptable level. I think we can chalk that up as good work. Comment good work discarded. Quote. And what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be building new trees and harvest them. So we can click, for example, on this bubble tree. And we, we can actually, that's not what I meant to do, sorry. We can right click on it and then we can click on harvest plant. And we will get resources, in this case, food from that tree. Now, other things give us other resources. For example, this snow star gives us fibers. We don't need fibers, actually. We just need materials and um, 
food. We're gonna check back into it in a moment because there are a couple of other things we need to do. We need to build the recycling station and then we need to build a medical thing. And then we're gonna jump back to the biotech and do some cool stuff. So let's start with recycling station. Can I fit you in here? Yes, that's kind of perfect. So let's fit you in there. And we're also going to place a couple of objects for these uh, garbage bots. Have two of those there. Commander, I think it's time to upgrade the bio deck a little. I have two suggestions here that were created by my chaos algorithm. Which one do you prefer? Plant growth plus 100%, 5% chance of infection per minute. Plant growth plus 100%, aliens need to drink uh, and negative rating. Now let's do the chance of getting well, six. We don't really care, care about that because we need to heal sick aliens anyways. Finest pesticide across the bio deck, Commander. The visitors will hardly notice and the plants will sprout and flourish like never before. Alright, so now that we are going to place an atmosphere filter as well because the recycling station is going to really make things messy and dirty around here. Now we were given something from the... as a reward for the previous scenario, were we not? Apparently not, okay, never mind. Okay, so we need, to, we, need, we need to build a medical room. So let's do it right now. We're going to build a medical station. And we want to place it... I don't really know how big it needs... Actually, no, we don't, we don't want to do it like that. Let's do another medical station. We'll place it... Like that, maybe? We'll start by placing a couple of doors this way. We're going to place chairs on the right so that they can kind of sit and wait. And then we'll place a diagnostic unit here, kind of in the back. Let's we'll see how many we can have. Commander, oh, so we actually need to make this bigger. So we're gonna center, remove this door and this chair. Who just passed your station. Isn't that interesting? Okay, let me try to make this bigger. Yeah. Think that's good enough for a diagnostic unit? No. So one more. We will do one more in that direction then. We'll remove this unit. And this I'm gonna place another diagnostic thing here. And last one. And then we're gonna have some of these medicators. Let's place them. We can have two of those there, two of those here, and kind of two in the middle here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it like this. Actually, do we want to place two more? Doesn't look as fancy as I was kind of hoping. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll Commander, do something else. Maybe we'll place one more of these diagnostic the units in the middle. I wonder whether this is due to your general incompetence or your questionable morals. I want it to look kind of cool look like that. So let's confirm. Great holds of cargo. We could get valuable vaccines per empty slot plus 10 energy every 60 seconds, per occupied slot minus 5 energy. Yeah, we seem to have a lot of empty spots, so let's do the valuable vac vacancies. Good choice, Commander. I am not surprised that you prefer emptiness, as I suspect a certain similarity to the contents of your skull. <laughs> really? That was super mean, even for you. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Mr. Mean now. <laughs> Cause that's just... Uh, yeah, we're gonna overhire the doctors a little bit just to make sure that they're all working there. And we'll definitely watch them be there, but what I want to do now is I want to go to the... Command, to the bio deck. One of your visitors has accidentally forgotten a number of crates of garbage, which, while considered a delicacy, carries highly contagious pathogens and is prone to spontaneous explosion if left unprocessed. Should you wish to prevent a viral explosion on board, you should remove those objects. A cynical commander might however take advantage of this. I think we've also got a worm in here because we've got way too much garbage. Uh, I don't see this. Is it, is it in the... Oh, it's a garbage farm there. Okay, I can place that in here. Did I hire the people for this, Telgoras? Did I not hire Telgoras? What's up? Did I not hire them? What's going on? No, it seems to be working because it does say 6%, but let's hire some more. Apparently they're just like not that excited about working, so let's get at least two more. I mean, I, 
I must have hired them. I think I hired them. Okay, now let's go back to the to the bio deck. Here we want to do a couple things. A so Garbash has just exploded, potentially infecting aliens in its vicinity. I'm so we still need wavering as to whether to classify this as incompetence or moral ambiguity on your part. Incompetence and moral ambiguity noted in personnel file. All right, so we need to things that give us materials because we have a lot of this polar which we don't care about. Just successfully treated the first visitor. I think that is acceptable. You know, use this radio tactic thing so we can actually essentially terraform this and we can say hey no i want this area to be radioactive it's going to give me materials and then my dryads are going to go and they're going to actually plant like the new plants that are going to give us the things we need because we really don't care about fibers and i'm also going to go here and i'm going to um take some of these trees and actually harvest them so we can gain this food here Food circuit boards we need to produce in factory for materials. So we should probably jump back again. Actually, maybe we should I should show you this a bit more. First of all, we could look at these dryads. Exora. There's garbage everywhere. Well it's fine. We got these little fuzzies going here and cleaning it around. What is this? Bio station. That looks quite nice. I like it. All right, let's go back to our other deck. Commander, and we definitely you have successfully harvested several plants. Obviously, all those years of training. Commander, you have successfully eliminated the vermin. Doing so can help prevent a greater spread of disease. I mean, we kind of want disease. Oh, look at that guy. That guy's going to diagnostic unit. You can see over here. Going to diagnose him a little bit. I like how it spins around. And he's going to move here towards these. Uh... Commander, I admire your minimalism, as you have so far dispensed with the construction of a communication center. One hears, for example, of traveling doctors who could assist you, but probably that's not something you would be interested in. So this is actually interesting. He went from one diagnostic unit to another because I guess he couldn't get diagnosed. I'm gonna build the communication center because I've just been told that like, hey, do it. So I'll do it. But actually, I'm probably gonna build the factory. I hope you have space for that. But I do want to keep watching this guy. I want to see where, 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 whether he gets healed or not. What's your name, man? Scooser two. Okay. Come on, go, go get healed. Now we need to build the factory. How big is the factory? Factory. Oh, it's pretty big. So we're gonna need to open one of these decks to the side and build it there. Which we could do immediately. Open bulkhead, good. He's still getting healed, like come on. I think many other people's already been healed and he still have not been diagnosed even. And we've got nothing in here, so we're gonna build the factory. Actually, we'll go over there. Let's see, so it's near the cargo hold. And we can go and build stuff there. Alright, where, where is he going? That's him? No, oh, where did he go? I lost him! Have a look at this guy then. Now he's moving into this. Pill dispenser, I guess. I'm not quite sure what exactly that does, but this thing will heal him. Commander, I'd like to inform you that you've already successfully treated one third of the aliens required. I assume you feel almost competent now. Very competent. Commander, you managed to build a factory. Remarkable when I consider your accomplishments to date. All right, we want. Drifters. Okay, let's let's go hire drifters. Now, who do we need for the factory? Commander, a prominent alien with a severe form of cold has arrived at the station. You should ensure that this visitor is treated quickly as the disease is highly contagious. Prevent your visitors from being harmed at all costs. So 
The thing is, I'm not quite sure who works at the factory. Is it done automatically? So we need to uh, get an upgrade for a medical station to know or to research. Diagnostic unit has 10% chance of diagnosis a disease immediately. Ooh, but the diagnostic unit says take three times as long. Or Mediplicator healed aliens have a 5% chance of immediately handing over all their energy. Diagnostic unit, the doctor's skill value is half for 50 seconds after each diagnosis. Yeah, we'll take as that. As you wish, Commander. I can't say I approve of this choice, but it is your funeral. So we need two minerals for the circuit boards. Commander, you've already cured half the aliens that require treatment. An acceptable feat if one ignores the time it took you to perform it. Alright, let's jump to the bio deck and see. Uh, whether we've got something this does give us minerals right commander contraband fibers but we made it radio radioactive come on let's try to harvest some of these give me food commander yeah minerals you actually good managed to heal one of your VIP visitors Okay, of course you yourself didn't lift a finger. At best, it was your gray employees, but still. Do we have any more minerals? Oh, we need to get rid of this bomb, by the way. Commander, so we have two minerals. Okay, that's fine. That's that's good enough. Now we're going to jump here. We're going to grab the minerals and put it into the factory. And then... Okay, so the factory is automatic. I wasn't sure, like, who I need to hire to get this thing going. Apparently nobody. We'll also put the this bomb into the recycling station to get some garbage. And we also had a recycling station in a crate, which I didn't notice, but... Uh, yeah, I apologize for that. <laughs> so we didn't need to build our own, we could have just used that, but you know, it's fine. Do we have any more minerals here? No, this is all just food. We need three more food, which is fine. We're 19 out of 30 aliens, and we built our very first circuit board. So we're gonna jump there and try to get more of these minerals Commander, in a moment. I find that the alien treatment is proceeding at a reasonable pace, considering the circumstances. By circumstances, I mean you, in case you missed that little dig the way you missed all the digs before. Did I put only one set of doors here? Oh, that's fine. I was gonna- I thought I put more, but that's okay. Now, we want to go back to this bio deck and we want to get more minerals. That's kind of what I'm looking at right now. So, any of these, um... Can I harvest you? What are you gonna give me? Minerals, yeah. Harvest you as well. Ooh, two minerals. That's very nice. We need- we need eight, I think. Got six. This is probably not gonna give me minerals, is it? Now it's just giving me fibers. This is all food. We don't really care for food much. However, I could collect three food, and then if I place it into my cargo, I'll actually finish the the food assignment at least. So let's do that. Grab the food, put it in here. They should put it in there. Okay, we're still missing one. Apparently I miscalculated that. So let's do minerals first, then we'll go back. Okay, all of this is here. Now we'll go back to the biotech, grab one more food. And... Is, is that... That's not food, that's minerals. But we, we want minerals anyway. We'll grab this food. Okay, we finished the food. Thought it would say something. But apparently it's like, no. I mean... At least like an insult, complimentary insult. I mean, maybe not even worth a, a sarcastic comment anymore. Like, I feel like we didn't do so bad. Like, is, is he offended now? Just like, meh. Oh, we forgot. <laughs> we have a communication center, but no bugs. <laughs> oh, well. Never mind. Get this thing going now. Alright, 26 out of 36 he aliens healed and we need one more mineral to manage the factory. So let's go there and grab one more. Assuming that, yeah, if I could harvest... No, I can't harvest you yet. How about you? Not yet, yet either. This 
does give us minerals. Perfect. Go back to our other deck. Place the mineral where it needs to go. Right. We'll finish. Now we only need three more aliens. Now how are you looking? Do they like this setup? Uh, what's up with you? Are you dirty? What's wrong with you? Just showered in the wet felt great and clean. Okay. Why do I feel so rotten now? Yeah, they're all sick, I think. But it's not, it's not that much of a line. We have almost nobody on these waiting chairs, so... Is it because I don't have enough doctors? Yes, it's because I don't have enough doctors. Well, be lame. Well, light, but learn. What is this guy? Promote. Yeah, let's promote him. That's cool. We gained some extra grace, but I mean, we need one more guy to get healed, so we're not too worried about this. Ooh, who are you? Congratulations are in order, Commander. You've performed reasonably well in this test scenario. Hats off. I shall record your mediocre actions in the Monument of Shame immediately. That's what I call your personnel file, Commander. You don't have to understand, it's an amusing data packet that goes back and forth between my sarcasm processor and my evaluation. Alright, we won our second mission. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch the third one. See you there. Bye bye.